Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to go over a new type of Shiley trach. I'm going to compare it to the Shiley's we had before, and I'm also going to compare it to the Bavona trach. So let's get into it. So I have all three types of trachs here. Of course, this is the Portex Bavona that we're used to. Uh, this is an extended one. You can see that it is a 9.0 inner diameter. And this is a fixed flange. So the flange is fixed, does not have an inner cannula on it. Um, one nice thing about these, obviously, is the real soft flanges right here. So decreased breakdown, and then also we have the water cuff. So, Portex. Next one we're gonna look at is our standard Shiley. This is the Shiley 6DCT, but this is more of the standard Shiley that almost everybody is used to. <clears throat> this is a 6.0. Comes in a package about like that. Let's open it up, okay. They come with the same equipment each time. So we have our introducer, our introducer. We have our tracheostomy, as you can see there, 6DCT. And that inner diameter is 6.4, outer diameter of 10.8. So that's really important to look at when you're looking at these trachs, what the outer diameter is. And then on this side, we have one of those uh, high volume, low pressure cuffs. So uh, high volume, low pressure, decrease uh, any kind of uh, damage to the trachea. We do have an air cuff with that. You can see that there. And then also we have the inner cannula. Now notice the inner cannula with this. Okay, it has the clips on it. This is the one that clips in. So if we're putting these in, of course they go in, they clip and we're good to go. So, actually there, now it's clipped, now we're good to go. So the great thing about this is, remember you can attach a back valve mask to this and give manual ventilations, which is really important. Um, the Portex, you could always do that because this is a fixed 15 millimeter adapter. This one's not fixed, so if you took this out, as you've seen in previous videos, and you threw that away, then you needed to give some kind of bag valve mass resuscitation or bag valve resuscitation, <laughs> bag valve trach resuscitation, you would not be able to do it because you didn't have an inner cannula, so you had to put the inner cannula in. Well, that's where the new Shiley Flex comes in, and this is why it is so nice. So let me show you that. Oh, the last thing that comes with all Shiley trachs is some material here to secure the trach around the neck. Remember, number one thing is that the cuff does not hold the trach in, inside the patient. It's always the securing device, whether it's a commercial device or it's simply something like this that wraps around the back of the neck and ties to each side of the flange. Next one is, this is a Shiley and you see it says it's called adult flexible tracheostomy uh, tube with taper guard. So taper guard actually is the type of cuff. So I'll show you that real quick. On the back, this is a bigger box than the other Shiley box, as you can tell. Much bigger, much larger. Uh, it's got some numbers on the back, which are extremely important. And they did a little bit of color coding, too, if you can notice that. So purple, purple. So seven, um, that is just a, or an arbitrary number. I'll, I'll, give you that, I'll give you that number, what it is in a second. Don't focus on that. And that's... That's kind of the confusing thing a little bit with some therapists and even nurses. It's going to be confusing to see that seven right here at the beginning. Don't focus on that. Focus on this number right here, 80. That is the inner diameter size, okay? So this is, uh, it'll have number seven, and I'll show you why it has that in a second. And then when it's cuffed, we have inner diameter size is 80, and it's, and it's an H type trach. So this is the standard. If you look at that 80 right here and then we look at these measurements right here, you'll see something. The inner diameter is 
8.0. Outer diameter, which is really important to remember, is 11.4. So when you're going from one type of trach to another, you want to definitely look at that outer diameter because that's going to show you what size is fitting in their stoma at that point. So outer diameter, 11.4, and then it shows you a uh, size of the cuff. So anyway, this is the standard you'll see with this. So you'll have the color, CN, the cuff trach, 80H. So this is what it looks like. Comes out again, you see it's got the purple 7CN 80H, and it gives all these numbers again. It does give an interesting another number, which I think is really cool, but it, it might be confusing for some because you're gonna say I'm putting an 80 trach in, but it's actually 70 with the inner cannula in. And you can see that there. 80 millimeter inner diameter, but then the inner cannula is a 70 inner diameter. So this is a Charlie trach, but it's also showing you that it is, when you put the inner cannula in, it's um, 7.0. We document 8.0 though, that's most important. So to open it up, this little piece right here kind of bends and comes off. Now it's ready to open. So <clears throat> some things we're gonna notice with this, same type of stuff is inside the box. I'm gonna pull out our trach and you're gonna notice the flange difference between the, the other Shiley and this one is quite a bit. This is, ri this is somewhat rigid. I mean, I, I know it doesn't look like it, but it is somewhat rigid-ish. This is very flexible. The tube is very flexible. This tube right here, the old one, is very rigid. That tube's very rigid. This is very flexible in itself. Notice something else also. That's a fixed 15 millimeter adapter. That doesn't come out. So it's kind of the best of both worlds because you're gonna have that attached in case you have an emergency. You'll never lose that as long as that tube's in. And then also, if you look on the front here, it's 80 and then you have your purple, little purple part on there. So it shows you, connects all those different things together with a color. <clears throat> and I'll inflate this cuff in just a second. So the next thing we're gonna look at is our introducer. Very similar to the previous. Um, if you can see it, it's got kind of holes in here, a little hole down here, but it, of course, would go in, clip into place, and that is how we would insert it. So we'd use it that way to insert it. The inner cannula is a lot different. So the inner cannula, if you look at the inner cannula, it is tapered down, but it also has a couple little clips on the side here. And you see this end part kind of squeezes. The way this goes in, it goes in just like any other inner cannula and it clips into place. So as you can see here, it's clipped into place on the inside. Some people will be like, well, what if the thing goes down? Well, it's flared so much, it's not gonna go down. And I know that's kind of everybody's fear. It's flared enough and it's got these little ridges on here match the ridges on this side so you can hear it kind of click in when it goes. So remember you put this in, now it's a 7.0. The great thing is, is this, this is, a, is a good trach that can be used in the hospital because we have this aspect for an emergency and then it has the, the ability to have the inner cannulas changed at home which helps keep helps patients keep them clean. Inner cannulas are preferred a, a lot because you can't just take them, throw them away, and put a new one in. So this is the new Shally Flex trach, and uh, you'll see these different inner cannulas. Now, if I go and have it an 8 Shiley or 8 Shiley like this one, and I try to put, obviously, I will not be able to use these old inner cannulas with them. It's not the right size anyway, but it would not be able to go in around the corner. I'll try it. Wow. Yeah, actually, I did get it to, but it's not supposed to. So, that inner these inner cannulas won't work. You have to have the specific inner cannulas for this trach. That's what makes it specific with the system. So, you see we have the box. Purple. We have our purple here. And then we're going to go to our inner cannulas. Now, inner cannula boxes, you know, from Shiley are kind of square like this. And you're gonna notice something also. Seven, I see 80, same color. So that's your number seven, 
That's your inner cannula, and then your 80 is your 8.0 trach. You can see your pictures right here again. You have your trach size of 8.0 and your inner cannula size of 7.0. So these are specific to those trachs, of course. That's what they look like. And you cannot use, obviously you cannot use this type or that type on these type of trachs. So, it's specific to get that. Now let me show you the difference with the numbers. I think the numbers are there, and this is just my thought, just to say I wanna go up a size, and so I go from four to five to six to seven. Put seven in the middle here. So, if we look through this, you see we're going all the way from Number four, CN65H. Five, CN70H. Six, CN75H. Seven, CN80H. Eight, CN85H. Remember, don't worry about the first number, but that just shows you the progression. So we got green, orange, blue, purple, black. Look at that second number, six, five on the top. Four, CN65. 6.5 6 is the inner diameter. 7.0 is inner diameter. 7.5 is the inner diameter. Down here on the purple, 8.0 is the inner diameter and 8.5 is the inner diameter. So that's what you're gonna look for with these trachs, the color and then that second number on there. But the other number at the very beginning kind of just shows the progression, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, Charlie Flex trachs. Uh, at our facility, we're gonna change out every trach we have uh, Bavonas are going to be kept in respiratory therapy for special use only. Surgeons are going to put these in by their request, and we're going to be seeing a lot more of them. Just make sure that we, you have the correct inner cannulas for them. Refer to them as the 7IC80s, which is an 8, for an 8.0 trach, but it's a number 7. So it's really uh, particular when you're looking at these type of trachs. I hope this helped. Make sure you comment below and... Um, let me show you one more thing. I want to show you the difference between the taper guard cuff and the standard cuff. So first of all, let's do that standard cuff. This is what a lot of us are used to. This is a high volume, low pressure cuff. So a lot of volume and low pressure. You can see that. See that one there? It's kind of boxy shaped as I like to, I like to think of it. So got a lot of volume, but it's not putting a lot of pressure on the trach. So that's one cuff that I know you've seen before. High volume, low pressure. You would never want to make a trach that was low volume, high pressure. So if you ever, if you're like trying to invent something, don't do that because it's not going to go anywhere. All right, so this one's different. This is taper guard. This is something specific from Malincroft, Covidian, Medtronic, whatever one you want to call it. So. This is their taper guard. So when it goes and seals inside the trachea, it kind of almost wedges in there. Um, some of the things that the claims with this trach is that the high volume, low pressure of this one can sometimes get wrinkles and micro aspirate past it uh, because of just the amount of volume in there and the amount of cuff you have. Whereas this one is more of a tapered fit so it's going to seal a little bit better, but you can notice there's definitely differences between these two trachs and uh, trach cuffs and what they look like. So I just wanted to be able to show that so you can see the taper guard versus the high volume, um, low pressure cuff. So thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe, and comment below. Is let me know if you want to see more trach videos. This is Jimmy, and I'm out.